The China-U.S. cyber espionage confrontation escalated on Tuesday. China is issuing a strong protest against U.S. Accus accusations, rather, that five Chinese military officials are behind cyber attacks on American companies. We have team coverage from CCTV America correspondent Nathan King and Beijing correspondent Li Chuan. Uh, let's begin in Beijing. Uh, what is China's reaction? Mike, there have been strong words from various Chinese government organs, and China has warned that the U.S. charges against Chinese officers could jeopardize military ties between the two countries. Now, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Hong Lei said China could take action if the U.S. does not withdraw its indictment. And also, Chinese Assistant Foreign Minister Zheng Zeguang summoned U.S. Ambassador to China Max Pakas on Monday, lodging a complaint with the U.S. over the issue. Meanwhile, the Chinese Defense Ministry has expressed anger and strong opposition to the U.S. charges and also lodged complaints. Now, Defense Ministry spokesman Gong Yansheng denies China's engagement in any cyber theft activities, saying the U.S. accusation is totally groundless and with ulterior motives. Gong says many of Chinese Army's computer terminals have been subjected to cyber attacks from abroad, many of them are originating in the U.S. Now, the Chinese State Internet Information Office also released its latest data revealing the U.S. recent cyber attacks against China. Their spokesman urged the U.S. to stop such activities. Take a listen. China is steadfast in upholding cybersecurity. Chinese government opposes any kind of cyber crimes and opposes any groundless attacks and accusations against the country. If the United States continues this way, China will take countermeasures resolutely. From March 19th to May 18th, the office claims that over 2,000 Trojan horse networks or botnet servers in the United States control over 1 million host computers in China. Now, China also found 135 host computers in the U.S. carrying massive phishing pages targeting Chinese websites. And more than 2,000 IP addresses in the U.S. has implanted backdoors in almost 1,800 Chinese websites involving 57,000 backdoor attacks. Now, the U.S. infiltrations and taps on Chinese networks are said to belong to government, institutions, commercial enterprises, universities, and major communication networks. Now, those activities target Chinese leaders, our ordinary citizens, and anyone with a mobile phone. And in response to the U.S. attacks, China decided to suspend the China and U.S. Cyber Security Working Group. It has also banned Windows 8 operating system from any computers in government organs. Mike? Li Chiyuan, uh, live force in Beijing. Thanks so much.